Well, you know, sometimes if you go reaching for certain amounts of notes, you're bound to uh, get a few lemons there, you know. This is called Let Everything Else Go. It's a song that, uh, it's really been sort of a favorite of mine. And uh, I, about a year ago, met someone who came uh, to a concert I played. And she said, you know, I uh, want to tell you a story about this song. I was driving down the road one day, and I, I didn't know the Lord. And, uh, and this car pulls up to the light next to me, and I hear this song, you know, being sung over his tape player. Maybe it was the radio, I don't know. I would suppose it was his tape player. And, <laughs> and, uh, and she, she, all of a sudden something started to speak to her, and I know it was the Holy Spirit. And uh, she said, can I talk to you? And uh, he thought maybe she needed some directions, right? And so they went to the parking lot and uh, spoke to each other, and she came to the Lord. Eight months later, they got married. And it was, uh, it was this song that uh, she feels kind of brought her to the Lord and helped bring her to her husband. And so, you know, you never know. Yes. Incidentally, I'm uh, just finishing up an acoustic album right now called Way Back Home. I'm very delighted to say that all my parts are done. And I've re-recorded this song. It was on an album I did about five years ago. And uh, I didn't think it got a good chance, a fair chance on that particular record. Uh, so I did it again. Maybe I'll do it again in five years. You never know. Chasing down hot air balloons on Sunday morn Pace with a familiar tune I reach for nothing less but something more All the day And the wind is at my back most of all A friend I know is there. Great anticipation fills my soul, it fills my heart, it fills the air all the day. And the wind is at my back, oh, I can't wait to see you, Jesus, face to face. Nothing. 
nothing can compare with what you are, and everything else gone. Here's a song called uh, Somebody Loves You. practic adjustment for you. Uh, this, this I wrote uh, for no other reason than I know that someone just needs to hear that, you know. I mean, the love, the word love goes all over the world, all over, the, all the time, you know. It's spoken, it's said, it's abused, it's, it's, it's just a word, you know, to people. Like, you know, oh, I really love the way this seat feels in the car or something, you know. You know, we just, or Boy, don't you love those onions in that hamburger? It's great, huh? But, but some people just need to be told that they're loved, you know? And there's a difference between the love of God and the love of man and the love of things. I'm trying to get across that love, the love of God. Somebody does you know, somebody does you know. Do you ever get the feeling no one understands? Do you hurt and there's no one close at hand? Do you ever feel like running but you have no place to go? Look in the mirror, what does it really show? The person you want to be, the image you long to see. But there's a hidden person in the heart trying to get through. Somebody loves you, somebody does you know. Hey boy, say there boy, somebody loves you, somebody does you know. Somebody does you know. So you say you got in trouble when you told the truth. You got in hot water because you had to prove. You only wanted someone to accept you for who you are. Look in the mirror. You may not see a star or the person you want to be. And they made you long to see. But there's a hidden person in your heart trying to get to. Somebody loves you. Somebody does, you know. Somebody does, you know.
mission You're not really you Your partner's so convincing You prayed somebody new The loneliness inside Is more than you can bear Look in the mirror There's really no one there But the person you want to be An image you long to see Cause there's a hidden person in the heart Trying to get through Somebody loves you Somebody does you know Thank you very much. Uh, I should be standing up for that one. You know why? You know that note that goes... Yeah, yeah. It's a lot easier to do when you're standing up. So if you ever try hitting that note, you know, don't do it in the shower because ceramic walls, you know, tile walls, can, they can attack back. Uh, I've done that before. I thought I'd go for a note even in the car and the windshield throws it back at me. Oh, you know, it's like a... It's like, like hurts, you know. Um, let's see. I think that, that was kind of fun. Check, check, check. This is called uh, Just the Same Today. I wrote this long time ago, about, you know, 11 years ago, and recorded it on an album called Love Broke Through. But not with these words. These are the original words about Moses and David. And it uh, sounds like I said Mogan and David. <laughs> no, but it was Moses and David. And uh, Moses and David and Pentecost, three really incredible people in the Bible. <laughs> this is called Just the Same Today. As you know, I think it's uh, Hebrews 13, verse 7 or 8. Who can tell me? 8. Thank you very much. Walk in concordance. Yeah, that's good. I, I could tell a few, but I, you know, I'm here to play music. Uh, okay, this is called Just the Same Today. I told you that, didn't I? doesn't happen too often. That happened a few times, you know, in the last 25 years. Pardon me? It sounded pretty good. Did it? You could hear it. Yeah, there was a good frequency <laughs> associated with that. Okay. God's mind. God's 
power, David slinging stone, the giant load lay. And the goblin lived in David's time is just the same today. Just the same today. Sympathy, 3,000 got converted, and we're workers right away. And the God that lived at Pentecost is just the same today. I'm gonna do it one more time. 3,000 got converted, and we're workers right away. And the God that lived at Pentecost is just the same today. to get that one out of my system. <laughs> That's right. Hello. 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 How's this ear doing over here? I got my own little kind of monitor thing, you know, and keep having to make it louder for some. I, uh, I'm going to bring it down a little bit, a little bit right now here. Uh, This is called uh, In Every Need, and it's, uh, it's a number that's on this acoustic album, and I've written some songs to these devotionals, and they're really special to me. They really met me in a very special way. And uh, one of these is two poems, and, uh, and it just talks about how the Lord is the one who really meets us when we're disheartened and we're discouraged, when we feel heavy and weighed down, and 
We feel shamed by our failures, and I think we all can relate to that. We feel like we've let God down. He's the one who, who never sleeps nor slumbers. He will keep us, and He keeps His eye upon us. And uh, He loves us with an everlasting love. And those are the kind of things you'll never really take to heart unless you get in His presence with His Word and let Him tell you those things. It's like His, his Word is, is truth, and we can, when we get alone and we get away from the distractions, and we're only with Him, we may have all our, all our distractions and our anxieties built up within us inside our hearts. But then if we just alone take those things to God, then we can deal with them, God and you, you know, God and I. We can take care of it right there, and that's where we can cast our burden upon the Lord, take His yoke upon us, come to Him, and lay at His feet all the things that weigh us down. So I pray this song ministers to you in a special way. You know, we just don't go to the, to the Lord for comfort. We go to Him for forgiveness and for strength and power so we can repent. I was reading last night where Jesus said, the time is fulfilled. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And so I think it's very important that we re remember to come to God means to turn around, change our mind about the way we're going. I, I, you know, it's so close to the top, you know, might as well do it over again. <laughs> you know, there's nothing, there's nothing like going through a song knowing you blew it at the very top. If you blow it at the end of the song, they say, well, it's okay. But, uh... <laughs> Cameras don't intimidate me. Jesus to the throne 
and moves the hand which moves the world to bring salvation down to bring salvation down strong and tender love and all is well again the thought of thee is mightier far than sin and pain and sorrow are than sin and pain and sorrow are my lord there is an eye that never sleeps beneath the wing of night there is an ear that never shines in the beams of light There is an arm that never tires When human strength is weak There is a love that never fails When earthly loves decay There is a power which man can wield When mortal is vain Listening here to gain that power is prayer which soars on high through Jesus to the throne and moves the hand which moves the world to bring salvation down, to bring salvation down, bring it down. Okay, I'd like to uh, invite a friend here who has uh, offered to uh, support me on this song. This is a song I wrote to my daughter Olivia, and uh, this is Jay White, who is a harmonicist. What do you, why do you, harmonicist? Harp player. He's a harp player. Yes, yes indeed he is. It'd be, I'd, I'm in G, so you'd be in C. Shows you how good everybody in the world gets along. I play in G, you play in C. You say tomato, I say tomato. I don't know, it's just, variety is the spice of life, I guess. How's it sound with you? You 
captured my heart Gift of life I sing of amazing grace For you are a true work of art Olivia Baby girl His hand is upon you For in your eyes I can see heaven Gift of joy You hold a special place Within my heart And you are a blessing Baby girl Well I've written songs For your mama She's among the faithful Now I'm writing this song with you just for you. Yes, I'm writing this song. Captured my heart, gift of life. I sing of amazing grace for you are the true work of art. Thank you. Jay White. Okay, we can do another one for you, okay? Okay, we'll, 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 we'll strike it up again. I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, after they shut these red lights off, he says three minutes, and uh, uh, that's, that's the way an octopus says peace. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got a, a three minute bit to go here, and. Then now Jay will come back afterward and we'll do something else for you. Everybody likes a harmonica, right? I do. Yes. Okay. Um, well, I could do that one. I could do this one. I could do that one. I could do that one as well. And, um, I'm going to do this one instead. I'll do some Sunday school after. I know this is all sort of mellow and everything, but... This is called Maker of the Universe, and uh, if, if I can leave any impression upon you, it's this. It's uh, the one who made all things and through whom all things came into being. The very things that he made in creation were used against him when he was crucified on the cross for us. And one thing we've got to keep in mind, it's the cross of Christ that's the most important thing, event in all of history and life, time. Crowned his brow, 
The nails that pierced his hands were mined in secret places he designed. He made the forest whence there sprung the tree on which his body hung. He died upon a cross of wood, yet made the hill on which it stood. By him above the earth was spread The sun that hid from him its face By his decree was poised in space The spear which spilt his precious blood Was tempered in the fires of God The grave in which his form was laid Was hewn in rock his hands had made the throne on which he now appears was his from everlasting years but a new glory crowns his brow and every knee to him shall bow Blessed by this program, your support to help keep it coming to you each week is greatly appreciated. And if you've made a decision for Jesus Christ as your Savior while watching, please let us know so we can send you a free Bible and Bible study course. Our address is Airborne Concerts, Post Office Box 413, San Diego 92112. And be sure to join us again next week for another... Today on Special Delivery, The Wrong...